Hi, this is Dan. Had a quick uh, tutorial I was going to show. Had a, several questions about how to use the time view, the new uh, setup in the Cakewalk, the latest Cakewalk. Um, it's changed quite a bit, but um, the the biggest change that I saw was that if you wanted to slow down or speed up over several measures. Um, that's changed a lot, and it's uh, it's kind of confusing if you've not done it before. So let me let me run through that and uh, see if we can uh, clear some things up for for you on that. Here's a video on the on the time view and how to use it. Here we go. So here's Cakewalk. I have a piano piece I've been working on for a client, and uh, he wanted to have it sound as real as possible using MIDI. Anyway, to get to the uh, the time here, you click on that this, this little icon, a little metronome icon. It brings out the, this panel next here, and it'll show you measure numbers, and it'll give you the BPM. It's got it up here too, underneath the uh, measure numbers. Um, it'll tell you every time it changes. It'll, it'll show you where it is in the in the timeline. So this is all fine and dandy, but if you have any time you need to change the, the tempo, either right at a, a certain point or slow it down, speed it up over time, like a, a cello rondo or de cello rondo in, a, in an orchestral piece, uh, like I'm going to do here with the piano, you, you'll need to be able to do that. Uh, it's a little bit different way to do it in here now with the new... Uh, updated version of Cakewalk. I'm going to undo what I just did so I can get my tempos back so I can show you what's going on here. So it used to be that you could go up here and click on view and click on tempo and it would bring out a separate window for everything in, including the the way to pencil draw in tempo changes. Can't do that anymore. And when I first saw that I thought oh no they took it out but they didn't take it out. They just made it so that it's more like automation is with audio and volume changes and, and effect changes like you do with tracks with this right here. It's the same idea as this. This is for audio, but we're not going to use that, so I'm not going to put that back. Uh, let me get rid of that. Um, so what you do is just click on this or view right here and click on tempo track show or hide or alt T for the shortcut and it brings open our little window here and as you can see I put several the cello rondos in the phrasing of the piano part as it went on so you can change the resolution right here if you want to go down to zero beats per minute up to about 60 beats here so it's going to show you exactly where where you are right here listen to this as it comes through see it move and pop back up there show you how to do this. I'm going to zoom in on the track here. So anytime I want to make a change I just pencil it in just like I do with automation. And let's say I just know I want to slow down uh, you know on one measure. I can just slow it down here and bring it down. I usually will just I will do two dots like this so that I can come back to an original uh, a uh, tempo, or if I want to come back to the original tempo, that way I can just use the ones inside like this to adjust and come back. And I can slow it up. I can go really slow. So anyway, that's how you do that. I'm going to undo that so I don't mess up my file here. But that's how you do that. You just change your tempos that way. And if you need to do a a recurring type of thing where you're going to slow down the same amount 
don't know why you would do that for any particular reason, but if you needed it, you can copy and paste these fairly easily. You just window over what you want there, and then you just copy it, and then move your timeline to wherever you need to, and you can put it all right in the same area. So if you get something you like really well as far as the way the time's moving, or you need it to move a specific amount, but you need to do it many times, you can copy and paste. So it's really cool to have that. So uh, anyway, that's how you use the time view. It didn't go away. It just changed a little bit. And honestly, I think this is a little better because it's integrated with the view on the track now. So before you had to move a separate window over to to do that. And I kind of like this better to where it docks with the, the actual MIDI data so you can see where you are in the track. I'm going to go ahead and undo this so I don't mess up my track here. But uh, anyway, if you have any questions, let me know in the description, or I mean in the comments. And uh, hope this is helpful. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.